This watch is made by Guess, has a stainless steel band, and today we're going to look at two different methods of removing one of these links to make the bracelet slightly smaller. This is a link from the watch. At the top, you can see an arrow pointing in an upwards direction, which indicates the direction the pin needs to go when being removed from the watch. And this is the pin that goes into the link. At the bottom, you can see it's a closed end with the top being open where it flares outwards. When the pin is sitting inside the link, it's positioned pretty much like this with the flare at the top in the same direction as the arrow. What we're looking to do when we remove the link is push from the bottom out and then when we're putting the link back in, we're gonna reverse the process putting the closed end of the link in first and just the flare will sit out, then we're looking to tap it into place into its final home. The first method that we're gonna use is to hit it out with a small hammer. If you don't have one of these hammers which are made for watch work, you could use any other hammer. What we're using is this little screwdriver which has a rounded end which will knock the pin out. These all come in a small watch toolkit which you can buy for less than $20. We'll put some details down in the description of where you can find those. You can also use household items, however, you do increase the chance of doing damage to your watch. What we're looking for, we're gonna look for those arrows. That's the way that the pin needs to come out. So we'll place those arrows downwards into the block. With the watch firmly in place in the block, we'll put our tool where the pin is. See that pin has now come out. It's now a matter of simply sliding the pin out, which will then release the bracelet. What we then need to do is do it once more on the next pin along, at which point this link will remove completely from the bracelet. So with that second pin out, you now have two separate pins, as well as the watch link, at which point that you can then put the bracelet back together with a single link. What we'll do instead is put that link back in place. We'll show you how that's done. So while holding the link in place, what we're gonna do is put the pin back in. We're putting the closed end of the pin in first, and we should find that it slides through relatively easily up to the point where it flares, which is where it will stick out slightly. You can see that it's now held in place. Next, we put the bracelet back into the block, hold it in place. down on the pin and you can see the pin does not stick out from either end and the link is back in place so now what we'll do we'll just put that second pin back in to join the bracelet and that is how you put it together so just hold the links in place once again put the closed end of the pin into the bracelet slide it through until you hit the point of resistance where it flares out, place it into the block, knock it into place, pin doesn't stick out from either end, and now you can see that the bracelet put that all back together, and that's how you remove as well as put back in a link into a steel band watch. For the second method, we're going to use a link removal tool. These come in most cheap watch toolkits. This one's made of plastic, only cost you a couple of dollars. It's definitely worth investing in a cheap toolkit if you are doing any work on your watches, as it does reduce the possibility of doing any damage. So to use one of these, it's exactly the same principles as the first method, but it's just a bit easier. So firstly, we're looking for those lines which indicate which way the pin needs to slide and then we'll place the band of the watch into the link removal tool. Just tighten it. And you can see that the small metal pin will come out as we tighten. And as we screw there, we'll just push the pin out for us already. At this point, you can now pull the pin out and continue. And 
happens then the process of simply removing the next pin in order to remove the link completely. Putting it back together is much the same process as the first method. You slot the pin back in up to the point where it flares out. This particular tool has a small trough where you can place the watch, holds it tight, knock the pin in place until it doesn't come out from either side and you're done with method number two on how to remove a watch link. These two methods, they use some very simple tools, a hammer, something to remove the pin, as well as a block to keep everything in place, nice and secure. And the second method we used, the link removal tool. All these tools will come in a kit for less than $20, so it's worth investing once, it takes less than five minutes to do the job yourself, save money and time.